Welcome back. 1030 on the dot. The Cincinnati International Wine Festival kicks off this weekend, and we're telling you what to sip and eat. Brian Wisman, executive chef at Kroger, and Mary Horn, committee chair for the wine festival, are here, if you can hear them. And they're making us very happy today because they're bringing wine and food, <laughs> great wine and great food. What could be better? Good morning. So, good morning. Good morning. Brian, we're going to start with you because we want to get some food in our bellies before we drink some wine, you know, this early on in the morning. Well, that Not good. that we ever do that. <laughs> so, Brian, you are going to have a booth set up with 14 other chefs uh, with Kroger, and you're going to be providing some free, great food some good at food, the wine festival. Some good food, some cooking demonstrations on how to cook some of this. Um, today we're going to do a quick pasta dish. We just right. added some of the tri-bean mix. These are all the simple truth lines. We're just going to add some tomatoes. Just going to sit there and saute for like a minute or two. Mm -hmm. It we'll smells up. so good. Mm -hmm. You smell that great garlic. And this is just an easy thing that you can saute. So, Mary, what kind of wine would go well with this? Well, I think the, the Patson Hall Chardonnay that we have here today will taste mighty yummy with this dish. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and pour that. We had <laughs> a snow it. day yesterday. There you go. Let's see, the so, Chardonnay of the Mary also red represents red. Patson Hall, so... Tell me about, so this would go better with the Chardonnay? I think, well, it'd actually go fine with either one, but you might as well start with the Chardonnay and then we can drink the Pinot Noir afterwards. Mm. Uh, so when you're wine tasting, you want to go first for the whites and then the reds? Oh, drink what you like. So I you like can her. go straight for the red <laughs> and like switch her. to white, but uh, you should be an e equal opportunity drinker and drink them all. Let's That's talk great. a little bit about the wine festival itself, how long it's been going on here in Cincinnati. And I mean, it's a, it's, it's pretty big now. It's, it it's is. grown. It's a... Uh, it's going to be downtown again mm -hmm. this year, and tell us a little bit more about that. the 23rd year. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll expect about uh, 6,000 people to come through over the course of the weekend. Uh, about 600 different wines to mm -hmm. try. Wow. Um, I dare you to try them all. <laughs> <laughs> you won't little, see us I on know. Monday. It's going to be a long, long, the... long weekend. So yes. tell me about, there's some great events. There's some event wine dinners tonight. Yes. And then a golf outing later on this weekend. Uh, well, the golf outing is in the is in the late okay. spring, mm -hmm. early summer. Oh, okay. Um, as part of the wine festival. Mm -hmm. But dinners tonight at several uh, local restaurants starting at 630. Mm -hmm. And then the festivities begin with the grand tastings Friday night and a Saturday afternoon tasting and a Saturday evening tasting. Wonderful. You know what? This Chardonnay is delicious. So grand tastings are Friday mm -hmm. and Saturday, as you saw there on the screen, from 630 until 9. So events going on all weekend. And, of course, you can come. There are going to be a lot of great food stands from Cincinnati State and also Kroger. So I love this. Can we dive It's very in? colorful. It and uh, you know what I like about it too, Brian, is that it looks real some. light, that it would go well with a lighter, maybe a light pairing wine. It, it would, and when you're finishing it up, you could add a little bit of wine into it to yeah. give it a little bit more of a Absolutely. sauce on there. What about the waffles and here? And then we had some waffles with, with fresh berries, and then all we did was we made a simple syrup um, with some sugar and some wine. So it's actually wine yeah. that kind of goes right into there and you just pour it right on top and... That Ooh. looks wonderful. So it's not only just about drinking wine with what you're eating, but also using wine as a cooking tool in the kitchen. Yes, because yeah. a great flavor to it, so... Would you be able to pair this with a Pinot or do you think that would be a little too heavy and dry? This even could go with a dessert wine. Wonderful. You know, like a... Uh, dessert with dessert Riesling wine. or... Uh, I'm reminded of Greece. It's a dessert wine with the Twinkie and the, <laughs> yeah. the wine bottle. But a fantastic food, so you got to go out this weekend. The Cincinnati International Wine Festival, it's this weekend. Go to their websites, events all weekend long. Well, Brian and Mary, thank you so much for coming thank on you. and feeding us and plying us with good wine. <laughs> so coming up on The X Today, we're going to have more news stories for you coming up. Katie and I will return in just a few minutes. Stay with us.